Hey guys, it's Tabs here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this short tutorial, I want to show you how you can clone any website online and then convert them into Figma designs. This would come in very handy for UI UX designer. This would literally save you so much in your workflow if you can literally pick up any website online, convert them into Figma designs, and you can use them to design the UI UX of your website and also eventually convert it into a website. So Without wasting so much time, let's go straight into these tutorials. So right on my screen here is my Figma account. So I can just uh, click the design file here. Okay, so fantastic. We are here right now. This is untitled. I can just uh, name this clone project. So now let's go straight into trying to clone a website. So once we come over here and click this main menu here we can easily just come to plugins and then we'll be using a plugin called html to design i have the plugin here but for you you may not have that in case you have not uh, used that before so you can just easily just come to find more plugins and then type in html to design and then you find this plugin here that's the plugin that we'll be using to just literally clone any website online into figma designs so right now the plugin is up here and this is exactly what it looks like this plugin is quite very free for you to use but it also has a paid version there are some limitations in the free version like you can use it for just i think maybe 15 times in a, in a month or thereabout and once you exhaust that you have to wait till the next month before you can keep using it and as a matter of fact the free might be enough for you if you are if you just want to use it one time uh, if you want to depend on this in your ui uh, projects you may want to go to pro and i love the pro version because it gives you unlimited access to uh, using the platform to clone any page online and then you can import them into your figma designs for you to design your website so right now let's just pick up a website to try and clone you can pick up any random website and just plug it in here and then import it into your figma project and that's just what it is to it so for the purpose of this example let's see if we can just clone any random websites maybe i should just use a wordpress uh maybe dot com let's just go to wordpress.com random that's what's coming to my head right now uh so this website here uh, it has been a long time i came here uh, so this is what it looks like so let's see if we can use this plugin to clone this website uh this page here for us to use in our workflow so i just copy uh wordpress.com i come back here and then i paste that in here and then i have to just hit the import button by the way as well before this plugin finishes here i you can still do more with this plugin if you come down to settings here you can add hyperlinks you can add hyperlinks so that uh, the plugin can clone all the links on the pages of the website you are trying to clone and that's pretty 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 very very interesting to note all right so this clone is done and this is fantastic but you can see here that we have some issues uh, it says that they are missing front uh, so you can see that there's a missing front free sans uh, but you roboto was used instead liberation sand but roboto was used instead too as well and these and the amazing thing i like about this plugin is you can just easily download this missing front how cool is that so you can download this front and then install this front on your computer and then figma have access to that front and that's very very fantastic so if you hit this download button you should be able to download uh that uh missing front into your computer the, the files you can have them and then if you click this here you can see how you can install a front on your computer in case you don't know how to do that that's very very possible uh, i will cancel this because i really don't want to go through that process so that's it uh, we are done here and that's everything we need to do i can just literally close this page and so that's it this is the website we just cloned isn't this the same thing as what we have on wordpress.com uh, so let me make this uh, let's zoom this into 50 percent so that we can see exactly what we have amazing stuff here really amazing stuff here and this is already cloned into figma and then you can just easily start using this 
I like this because this is quite very super simple and easy to use. Every element here is clickable, it's editable. You can change the alignment, you can remove stuff, you can add more stuff. Um, you can then eventually go ahead to use these for your website project. As a matter of fact, you can convert this to maybe a WordPress website. You can convert this to HTML. I have done a tutorial not long ago, maybe some of my recent tutorials on how you can use these things and then you can go ahead and install another plugin to convert this same website into WordPress. So you can check the screen right now if you see a link or check the video description if you are looking into exactly how to do that. That's quite very fantastic. But I'll be showing more tutorials, doing more in depth tutorials around that. So if you are into this, uh, you want to see how you can easily uh, is speed up your workflow, cloning websites online, editing them super fast, super easy, uh, converting them into WordPress website, into HTML website. And then you can, you should subscribe to my channel here because I'll be dropping lots of lots of tutorials around that. And also there's something that this plugin has. This plugin has uh, a Chrome extension that you can easily download that would help you clone the back end of a website. So for example, if I want to clone my WordPress WP dashboard, there is no way I can put my website URL and slash my WP dashboard. Uh, this platform would not be able to access it because it's passworded. So I can just log in into my back end and then use the Chrome extension to uh, download that. Maybe I should show you how you can do that real quick too as well so right now my chrome browser now i can just easily just come to chrome and then i can find this chrome extension here which is html to design it's super easy go to your chrome extension typing for html to design is a free extension you can you can just download this plugin and now i have it here so i can log in literally to any wordpress website and then now clone but I would not be doing that right now. I would just want to use a random website still. So for example, let's still use WordPress. Uh, let me just do WordPress.org right now, for example. What you can do right now is just come here. Once you have the page on, you can just come to the tool here. And once you do that, so you can see that this tool is able to see your browser. And you can just say yes copy this full page by clicking here so it would uh clone the entire page and so you can see here now i have a file here right now that i can import into the plugin in figma and i have this page here you can select uh maybe a selection a part of the page or you can just do that for the entire page that's literally up to you so since this is done right now I can literally just come back here, for example, and let's just leave this page. Let me just open a new page entirely, and this is page two. I can come to the plugin here and then come to HTML to design. So you can see it's already telling you that you can import uh, whatever you have done on your browser, and that's quite fantastic. But I can just dismiss this right now. So you can see, I can just literally drop that file we downloaded here. So if I click this, and then I can import the file so you can see this is loading that up. Bingo, that's it. Uh, this is done and we can close this page. So you can see we have the WordPress.org website here, literally. That's what would have happened if I had logged into the back end of my website and I've used the Chrome extension to clone the back end of my website. So we can just make this 50% so that we can see the entire website. So isn't this amazing? So that's exactly what this tool can do. I think it's a fantastic tool. You can check them out. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you got value for your time. If you find this plugin useful, you can check it out. You can try it and experiment with it. Stay tuned to this channel to see more tutorials on what you can do with your design, how you can easily convert Figma designs into WordPress. Different tutorials coming on this channel. And until then, stay safe.